Hey, we are back with another review today. We got eight Funko Ultimate mystery boxes here to check out. So without further ado, let's hop right into this review. You've seen us do a ton of these on this channel, but they just keep on coming. So today we got eight of these Marvel Ultimate mystery boxes. You get these from GameStop. They supposedly have $30 worth of value inside of them, um, and you only pay $10, but I didn't pay $10 for these. I paid under $5 for these. So Let's start off with our first one. I mean, we guaranteed to get value out of these. Not only getting value, you're getting triple, probably quadruple your value out of here. Because some of the pops that I've pulled out of here have been $12 to $16 in range, which has been pretty good. Um, the pink box is the... Okay, right, let me give you a rundown real fast. The blue is the Marvel. The pink is the Disney box. So just so you know. Uh, the pink one actually has a little bit more value with the pops because it's a Disney box and some of the pops that have been in there have been pretty dang good. Um, some Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, some Little Mermaid stuff has been in there and it basically has allowed you to kind of basically get three times the value if you get this for five or under. So let's see what we got in here. And we're gonna hope that they're not gonna be all the same because they haven't been all the same the entire time I've been unboxing these. They've always been different, but we're gonna see today, okay? So, we bought them all from the same batch at the same time. So we got a Five Nights at Freddy mystery mini. So what I'm gonna do is put all the minis aside, and then at the end, we'll open all the minis together. But for now, we're gonna pull out what we got here. We got a Fox keychain, Pocket Pop. We got a Logan Pop Pez, very nice. That is actually a different Pop Pez than normal. Let's see what we got in here. Nice. Okay, cool. So we got Hulk with the with the suit on, this, the Tony Stark suit or whatever that is. I didn't watch this movie. So this is Hulk from the Avengers, which actually I, I want to say this pops pulling in not not single digits. I can tell you that. Um, it's either it's either probably ten to twelve dollars, I imagine, somewhere in that range. But we got Hulk. That's pretty cool. That's a different pull than I'm used to pulling. So that's pretty good to start off the to start it off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the pops over here. Put all the Peds over here. I'll put the mystery minis over here and the keychains. And let's just start pulling boxes and let's see what we got in here. This is the this is the fun part of all this, right? So GameStop has been running some pretty good sales. If you know if you know when they're running the sales and what to get, you can pick up some pretty cool stuff. Because they had these were 50% off and then they had some kind of 20% off collectibles thing. So it just knocks the price down significantly when you're buying stuff like this and during the sales. Uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah. First thing, we got another Five Nights at Freddy's. I want to say I've, I haven't pulled anything other than Five Nights at Freddy's um, mystery minis from the Marvel boxes. In the Disney ones, I think it's like Nightmare Before Christmas. We got another Fox. Jesus. We got so many of these Fox, dude. I have like uh, six six of them sitting on the other table in there. Um, from the last run of boxes that we did here. What else did we get? We got another Logan. So we got we're flush with Logans right now which is, let me guess, we got a Hulk. It's either Hulk or Groot, right? Let's, let's see if we can get something different. Hulk or Groot, hopefully not. I don't wanna start digging around in there, but I also don't want it to get damaged on the way out. Let's see what we got here. Another Hulk. So we got another Hulk with the suit on, another 451. Hopefully that's not the theme, because we did get a bunch, the last one we did, we got a bunch of Groots. Uh, venomized Groots, which I saw that they had Venomized Pops in these boxes, but I've only yet to pull Venomized Groot. And now we're pulling these Hulk, so that's pretty cool. I actually don't have that Hulk. Um, I like the Hulk. Hulk's all right. I don't like MCU Hulk, so I don't know. Well, we'll see. Let's see what we got in here. Let's see what's in this one. Got Five Nights at Freddy's, Mystery Mini. I mean... Those alone, the mystery minis from, oh, nice. We got a Loki one. Nice, that's a different one now. So we got Loki, that's a different one. The Five Nights at Freddy's mystery minis, these end up selling for anywhere between seven and $13 on these, depending on which one of these. I mean, I know they have different rarities on here, but it's certain ones, I guess, are just favorite characters or favorite renditions of the characters. So um, that's pretty cool. Those alone, and then the Pops, and then the Pez, and then the Keychain. We got a bunch of Foxes though, so. Uh, the market is flooded with these guys now, I bet. Let's see what pop we got. 
Nice, we got a venomized rocket raccoon. It's very nice. This is awesome. I actually gave my rocket raccoon away to um, Mike Rogers, I believe, during the comic pop swaps. I pulled this out of my collection and I sent it over to him, but nice. I got another venomized rocket in the collection. That's awesome. That's one I did not have. So, so far we got a duplicate and a pop I didn't, I didn't have in the collections yet. So, I mean, I, like I said, I had it in the collection, but it's gone, but it's, it's welcome to have back in the collection because the price on it has gone up. It's like $12 now. So I'm glad that I got it back in the collection. I originally got it from Sin too. So nice to get that back in there. Let's see what we got in here. Another Five Nights at Freddy's. I imagine they're all going to be that. We got a Loki. We got a Loki Pez right there. This is comic book Loki, I believe. Is this comic book Loki or is it? No, this is Loki from the movie. That's Loki from the movie. All right. So we got, it looks like the only comic book one that we got is Logan. And we get, we got a fox. Fox, I got an army of foxes. Let's see what Pop we got. Venomized Rocket Raccoon. So we got another one, nice. Very nice. I mean, I could I could at least say this. All the boxes that have been coming out of these mystery boxes, the, the Funko Pop boxes, have been minty. So I could at least say that that has been uh, at least worth it in that regard because if you get something that's damaged out of one of these boxes you're not going to get your value back so and they're I mean they're the boxes are pretty sturdy I mean I actually use these to ship in uh, to reuse to, to ship in I mean because they're actually pretty sturdy boxes to hold other stuff in especially um, with the four walls like this being so sturdy and it's actually like glued together versus it being like folded together so it makes it a little extra sturdy let's see what we got in here Imagine a lot of the same, but we'll see what we got. What we got those is. We got a fox, another fox. We got five foxes. <laughs> okay, and we got another Pizzeria Simulator, Five Nights at Freddy's. That must have been like the worst selling mystery mini of all time at GameStop. We got another Loki. So we got another Loki. Uh, I've pulled out Hulk. I've pulled out a couple different versions of the Hulk out of there. I pulled out a Beast. I pulled Logan, and I pulled Loki now. So the Pez is the only thing that I think is... Well, and out of the Marvel ones, I've actually pulled out a bunch of um, Wreck-It Ralph ones. Like I pulled out Wreck-It Ralph, or I pulled out Fix-It Fix it Felix and uh, Vanellope out of there. And I think I want to... I just want to say that the Pez is probably the only thing that's been changed the most. Uh, the things that's been pretty static is definitely the Pizzeria Simulator and then Fox, for sure. Let's see what pop we got. Another Venomized Rocket Raccoon. Nice. So again, not a bad pop to have. The Venomized line is very, very, very popular. A lot of people like this line. It gets swapped and traded a lot and sold and bought a lot. So it's not something that's going to sit around for long. I can guarantee you that. The Groots didn't stay on the shelf for more than two weeks. Yeah, I don't got any Groots over there on the shelf right now. I still got the Abus, though. I still got the Abus that we opened up when we bought the last pink boxes. Um, I don't want to buy the pink boxes again because I'm not really too fond of the stuff that's in there. For me personally, if I get stuck with it, it's something that I don't want in my collection and I don't want to like stiff somebody by giving it to them. Even as like a pack-in giveaway uh, item, it's, I don't know, it's just not stuff that I don't know if a lot of people would want, you know what I mean? So let's see what we got in here. Although I did get one box with a Little Mermaid mystery mini in it, which the it was like Ursula or something like that. It was from a, sp a specific store and it was like a $12 mystery mini, which was awesome. So here we go, we got Five Nights at Freddy. Uh, what do we got in here? Let's see, we got Fox. Fox, there he is. There again. What else we got in here? Oh, sick, we got Ghost Rider. All right, now that's some fire right there. That is a sick Pez. That is a Pez I definitely don't have. We got Ghost Rider. Oh, oh man. Now we're cooking with gas. This is the legit right here. This is a sick pull. So the Ghost Rider is, I've never pulled a Ghost Rider and we've opened probably three dozen of these boxes so far and never seen Ghost Rider. <laughs> That's awesome. Maybe the pop's gonna be different. Let's see what we got pop wise. And what did we end up getting? Nice, we got another Hulk. So again, these aren't bad pops to get stuck with because they're good pops. The whole, at least the, the Venomized ones are good to get rid of. This Hulk too, honestly, I think those Hulks are, are going up now in value as well. There's a six inch version of that Hulk with him with the Nano Gauntlet. Um, that one has gone up as well, which I'm surprised because I picked that up on clearance, I believe at Walmart for like $7 and it was a six inch Hulk. 
and it is shot up in price for some reason. I guess the end game, the end game waves are starting to prove some value, which is nice. Let's see what we got here next. What do we got? We got a uh, Five Nights at Freddy's. We got Five Nights at Freddy's. So we're down to seven, seven boxes left. What do we got? Fox. Oh my goodness. We got, I can almost bet that the last box is going to have a fox in it. All right. What do we get for the Pez? We got a Loki. We got another Loki. So we got four Lokis, two Logans, and a Ghost Rider. So let's see what we got for the pop in the box. Let's check it out. Ready? One, two, three. Venomized Rocket Raccoon. All right. All right. All right. Again. Not a bad pop to get stuck with. Any of the Venomized ones are good. Better than the than the Hulk for resale value. Let's see what we got in here. All right. I mean, I do like opening these Funko Mystery Boxes because you're, at least you're getting your value back on these, which is nice for me personally, because I sell all the stuff I don't want or give it away. So it has value to me regardless. First thing we got is Loki. So we got five Loki Pez and Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's. What else did we get? We got another fox. Another fox. What else did we get? Oh, I also I pulled a Deadpool. I pulled a Deadpool uh, Pez out of these boxes as well. So that was the last round. All right, let's see what pop we got in the box. Venomized Rocky Raccoon. So, we ended up with a smooth five Venoms, Venomized Rocket Raccoons, and three Hulks. So, let's check out what we ended up getting in here. The Loki's already just starting to move off. Um, so, straight out the gate, I'm just going to bring the stack right over here. And we ended up getting three of the Hulks. We got five of these Venomized Rocket Raccoons, which is nuts. And then we got five Loki's five Loki Pez's in here. And then the one that's actually probably going to go in my collection, one of these rockets. And then one of these, this ghost rider Pez is going in the collection for sure. Now I have the Logan one already and I have the beast one. And I have the Deadpool one. So those are all going to be going up. And then we got eight Fauxes, eight Fauxes. Look at this. I mean, it's insane how many Fauxes we ended up getting. Eight foxes. These are all foxes. It's crazy, man. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. But anyway, we got eight of those puppies. So let's do this. Let's get these pushed off to the side. And then let's pop into these mystery minis and let's see what we got. Because now we know that we're going to get into something that's not going to be, you know, the same thing. These are mystery minis. So these are all packed. They're all going to be different. Um, and in regard to what I'm going to get in here, it's going to definitely be random. What I'm going to do, though, is the first box. Let's pop this off as wrapper. Leave this first box over here as a key for me, and then I'll let you know what rarity it is when we pull it. So now these are going to be all glow. These particular, uh, the whole wave of these, so they're all going to be made out of this like glow, glow fabric. It'll be, oh, nice! We got the pig and the banjo. Okay, pull this on the last one. Pig and the banjo is one and twelve, which is good. Not bad. Almost middle of the road, kind of middle of the road, but not really. Edging off to the curb, if you would. Let's see what we got. In the box here. So this set actually isn't too bad. I think I got most of these pulled out of here. I haven't gotten the gator. I haven't pulled that, that one in 12 rooster. I pulled, I pulled a lot of these, actually. But I've gotten a lot of duplicates, too. So it's not like... Nice. Okay, this is one we don't have. Uh, this was like some kind of hippopotamus, I believe, with the, the top hat. So we got the pig and the banjo. And then here we go. We got the hippopotamus, I believe, like a top hat on. I'm just taking a guess here. Hippopotamus, maybe. So pretty cool on that. I'll put those off to the side. So honestly, like having the whole set is probably worth more than selling these individually. So... That's what I was doing with these, is just waiting until I got the whole set. Because I knew I was going to buy a bunch of these mystery boxes, and I've just been saving most of the stuff like this to kind of put it aside, whether it be for giveaways or extra stuff that you pack in with people's boxes. It's always nice to throw in some extra goodies you're not expecting. So let's see what we got here. Nice! Okay, cool. So we don't have this one either. This is the 1 in 36. Oh, that uh, hippo was 1 in 24, which is good. 
So this is the one in 36 um, lizard type creature, but this is cool because we didn't have this one yet. This is one we have not pulled yet. Really cool on that. That is awesome. And again, these all glow. They actually glow pretty legit. So the Freddy line, they actually hasn't, they didn't slack on that when it comes to the glow because the glow is really good on these. Might do some pictures of these for Instagram once we get once we get them all put together. I believe last time I got the ele I got this one in six elephant and the fox. The fox last time. The one in six fox. So we pulled a one in thirty six today. That's pretty good. Uh, we have pulled this one in thirty six one with the eye patch on. We pulled that one in twelve as well. We got that. We don't have that one in thirty six chicken up there. We have that bunny though. The one in twenty four. So uh, we don't have Mr. Sombrero. We don't have this chicken and. I believe I have Freddy. I don't know. That might have been one of the first ones we got. Nice. Okay, cool. So we got the 1 in 24 bunny. Oh, we do got a duplicate. That's pretty cool. There's a 1 in 24 bunny. Put that over there. Nice. So we got a duplicate, but we got a duplicate of a, at least a middle of the road one. Nothing too crazy. Nothing too crazy. It looks like that the one in 36s were the big hits in the in the box. Okay, cool. We ended up getting Freddy, which is the one in six Freddy top left corner. Pretty cool. That's actually one we do not have, but I did have it at one point. I think I gave it to Sin, honestly, in one of the boxes I did with him. See what we got here. I definitely like the Marvel boxes. I think better than the than the Disney ones for sure. For personal collection, I guess you could say personal collection building. Like the fact that I got that Ghost Rider out of this, like totally made all this worth it for sure. Oh my God, we got him! We got him! We got him. He's the one in 12. Nothing crazy, but it's one we do not have in the collection. It's like a beaver, but he's got this sombrero on that glows in the dark. You can even feel the, you can even feel the, uh, the glow particles on the, on the plastic. It's crazy, but excellent. We got this sombrero guy. Honestly, I think we're, all we're missing is this chicken. I think we're just missing this chicken and we got the whole set or the chicken. And then this bird down here with the cupcake, the glow cupcake. I see the glow cupcake now. So we're missing the chicken with the mariachis. And then we're missing, or the, uh, yeah, with the Marriott. And then we got the uh, cupcake down here. Maracas. Those are maracas, not mariachis. But yeah, so. Yeah, I can't believe we got the whole set of this almost. That's pretty crazy. Just from opening these Funko boxes. Pretty gnarly. To say the least. Oh, nice. Okay, so we already pulled this one. We got the double of this one. It's the elephant. Magician elephant. And that one is one in six. So let's get into the last box here. And let's see what we ended up getting. And yeah, it's been a lot of unboxing here. But I'm going to show you that Ghost Rider Pez after here. So I, I, don't, I didn't know the Ghost Rider Pez would be in here. I didn't think Ghost Rider would be one that didn't sell out. But... It's like 136 because we've opened up 36 of these boxes before, so that's the rarity right now. Okay, nice. We got to end up getting a double of the hippo, which is a 1 in 24. Not bad. Middle of the road one. We got another one of them hippos. So we got dose hippos. We ended up getting the magician elephant. We got the bunny. Pretty cool on that. He just has his hand out. We got the banjo pig. Pretty cool on that one too. We ended up getting Freddy himself, I believe. That's Freddy with the microphone. We got some beaver and sombrero. Pretty cool. That's a cool one for sure. And then we got the lizard. Kind of lizard girl with a microphone. So. Just to recap here, we got some pretty pretty good pulls in the Five Nights at Freddy boxes. Those are actually some uh, good ones. I mean, the, what we pulled out of the minis, 
will pay for the boxes. We'll, we'll, some of these will pay for two or three of these boxes, which is great. Um, but these are some good pulls in the mystery minis. We ended up getting five venomized rocket raccoons. We got three hulks from the end game. We got eight foxes, eight of these puppies. We got five Loki Pez from the Marvel line. We got two Logans, and then we got the piece de resistance right here. We got Ghost Rider. This is the one right here. This is definitely sick. I don't know how rare this is, but it's sick and it's going to my collection. Definitely Ghost Rider for sure. And this is a welcome addition to that. And it's a new pop that I have, or a new pop Pez that I have not pulled in one of these Marvel boxes. So yeah, pretty sick on that. Um, I have a Pez collection. I just don't like to really display them really because they, they have to kind of be in the box if you would. And when you have a lot of them, they take up a lot of room. So yeah, that's neither here nor there. Um, but yeah, Ghost Rider, this was a sick one. This was what the whole box was really worth it for right here. This and that and getting another Rocket Raccoon is pretty awesome. So why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of the pops that I pulled, the Pez, the keychains, and the mystery minis. Which ones out of these pulls are your favorite? Why don't you let me know down in that comments below. And did you pick up any of these Marvel boxes? Did you get anything that I got? Or did you get some repeats of the stuff that I got in these boxes? Let me know down in the comments below if you pulled, pick up something different down there. So smash the like button and if you want more content like this subscribe for more because i do reviews every single day so look out for that never rest your day